was always like kind of obsessed with like fighting and combat, like martial arts movies, stuff like that. And at school, you know, I used to like to like wrestle. I got into a lot of like fights as a youngster and stuff. So yeah, I just uh, once I seen um, those mixed martial arts uh, available in the local area, you know, I went I went straight to it at 16 and, and I've just, uh, you know, stayed in it since. It, my first sessions was like, because the gym I went to, it was, it was a bit rough. So it was like, we'd be doing sparring, but it'd be like, you'd be getting full on need and stuff like that. So it was like, I'd be getting hurt in these sessions and I'd be going home and then the, the next the next session would come and I'd be like, come on, love me a pussy, go to the session, go to the session. And like, I used to force myself to go to the sessions, built my confidence up and yeah. So there's always something, you know, that you want to overcome and it's like, you know, if, if I failed at something, I always want to come back and overcome it. And I just, if, if I don't come back and overcome it, it's going to sit with me, you know, for the rest of my life. So that's just my mindset with anything. It's like, if there's something that's not sitting with me right, I have to go back, I have to overcome it. And, and it's like that with combat. The ultimate challenge. And I feel like overcoming the ultimate challenge is, is very fulfilling. It is the roughest, toughest sport in the world. Testing myself and, and working hard and achieving something difficult is very fulfilling. Even in my early days, I always used to say to myself, I'm going to be world champion, I'm going to be world champion. You know, if I'm going to do something, I'm going to try and be the best at it. So, you know, I always believed, and I still have belief that I'm going to go all the way to the top. So, you know, that, that belief's still there and I'm still working towards it. LFL is a, is a, is a brilliant up and coming promotion. It's an honor to be LFL champion. So I thought I'd step up in weight and, and, and fight a heavier opponent and, and go after, you know, the light heavyweight title being a, a two division champion in LFL. Absolutely, you know, I wanna, I wanna make history in the promotion before I move on. He seems to be quite well rounded. He seems to be a, a very short stocky set. I expect him to be quite durable because of, of his weight and his, and his short stocky set. He's on a four fight win streak, so he's got some good momentum going into the bout. So yeah, I'm, I'm ready for the biggest, every fight you gotta be ready for the biggest challenge of your life. So I'm ready. I think my resume speaks for itself, you know, I uh, 16 wins, 15 finishes, 10 submissions, five knockouts. So I'm well rounded and I can finish the fight in any position. I think he'll struggle in all areas. I think I'll dominate in, more, in all areas. From striking to grappling, to conditioning, to athleticism, I believe I have the advantages everywhere. You know, I just wanted to, after I left the UFC, you know, I wanted to come back and, and uh, you know, make a big statement and, and show that I can be an active fighter and, and you know, really, really squeeze the, squeeze the lemon out the rest of my career and, and fulfill the rest of my career. You know, get as many fights as I can. I want to do things that people have never done, you know, um, in the cage, especially, and, and, you know, show skills that have never been seen before. Like in the UFC, I've knocked out people with jabs, you know, like I said, I have a lot of finishes on my record. And I just want to continue to, to show great skill in MMA. I've coached a lot of people over the years, but it's bringing great minds together. And I feel this is what, this is what we've done here. You know, we've brought all the, all the best coaches together, all the greatest minds together in the local area. And, and we're really thriving because of it. Well, as, as a gym, as a whole, you know, we have a UFC world champion training here, Leon Edwards. So I'm very proud to have a, a world champion training at the gym. Exactly, most prestigious thing. And, and it's really inspired everyone in the gym. Like, like we say, we have a lot of fighters, a lot of people, you know, wanting to bring world titles to the gym. Fabian Edwards fighting for a Bellator World Championship. Myself, Ella Fowl, possibly KSW soon. Um, you know, we're just, we're just thriving in all areas. I, I set my goals very high but you have to take it one day at a time because anything can happen, you know, adversity can come at any time. So you just keep pushing, keep pushing to be better and don't let yourself down. You gotta love what you do. If you love what you do, that, that's enough. You use passion to fuel you, you know, I've, I just, I, I love this and you know, it's just that, that love and that passion has just fueled the journey the whole, the whole time, you know, and uh, even during the hard times, I've stayed persistent because of it. Looking back one day on, on the whole journey and, you know, looking back at all my souvenirs, I've got a lot of souvenirs at home, for, you know, like title bouts, jiu-jitsu bouts, jiu-jitsu titles, stuff like that. So it's like each one brings back a memory. So, you know, I, I look forward to the end of my career looking back on, on all the days. Honestly, when I make that walk, I really have a nastiness in me that I can't wait to let out. And uh, that's it, you know, I just, I let that nastiness out and, you know, the, the finish usually comes. Tell him I'm gonna smash his face in. <laughs> simple, simple, that's it, yeah. I'm the LFL middleweight champion, Tom Breeze. Watch me fight live for the light heavyweight title, July 9th, only on Viaplay.